take a certain walk. And um, we live out in the country, and uh, there is a certain way I can walk that never one single time have I ever run into another soul. Not ever, not once, no one else on the walk. Because it's back there um, with the ticks and um, <laughs> with um, snakes, and it's adjacent to our property. There is a way that I can turn that takes you down by, uh, for lack of a better word, I'm going to say a creek. I mean, it is one. It really is one, but you have to understand that a creek can, like, somebody could spit in a hole and go, that's a creek. Um, <laughs> that's just like, that's my area for you. So um, it's just, but it's still, it's, it, it works for me. And it's not a beautiful walk to anyone else, but I like it. The birds are singing, the squirrels are running, my dogs are happy. And, and so I'm on this walk and it takes me about 35 minutes to round the whole thing. And so it's when I do a lot of my scripture memory. And so I'll walk along and I, so I'm just saying stuff to him. And so, um, and I'll just, um, you know, I have my little cheat cards that I hold in my hand. I'll look at them when I need to, like I've done with you. And uh, so I don't take my Bible out and get it in the, in the creek. I just take my little sheet with me. Off I go, my spiral off I go. And so I, I do a lot of my scripture memory while I'm walking. And so this particular day, I was on Psalm. This was just a few days ago. I know I've got you coming. I'm wanting to get in the mindset of Psalm 25. It's been a lifesaver to me in a lot of ways. And so here I am saying it to him. And I get to the part, I, I, I've just been in the part that says, the friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him and he makes known to them his covenant. And it's that wonderful part that we've studied before. My eyes are ever toward the Lord for he will pluck my feet out of the net. Now when I'm walking, cause no one's there, remember? No one is there. So I get like, I mean, I do it just that loud. But I just put more feeling into it because I don't have y'all going, whoa, that's a lot. <laughs> it's just me and Jesus. I think he likes it. And um, I, I just say it. It's, it. And sometimes it's like he acts like he's heard it all before. And, and it's, so um, I just was into it. And I get really, I get a lot of feeling. Um, I, to you, oh God, I lift up my soul. Oh my God, in you I trust. That was all of this kind of stuff. So I start rounding this corner and I write at the part that goes, turn to me, this loud, <laughs> turn to me and be gracious to me for I am lonely and afflicted. <laughs> and I am looking this close, as I live and read, this close to two people. It's a, a, a young couple <laughs> holding cane poles in that ditch somebody spit in that someone, <laughs> someone's got gall enough to call a creek. And I mean, they're just both staring. I'm gonna go and I don't know which of us is the craziest right now. But they were sure it was me. And because I didn't have a Bible, I mean, it just looked like, I'm lonely and afflicted. <laughs> I'm lonely and afflicted. I mean, they were like, <laughs> The woman never said a word. She was like, I mean, she looked stunned. I, I bet he picked her up. They were in two four-wheelers. I bet he just picked her up and set her still frozen like this. And she never said a word. He looked at me and went, we're catching fish. <laughs> and I don't, I don't, I didn't know what to say. How do you explain? Well, because there was nowhere for it to go good. I, I, well, I was saying that to God. Well, clearly, <laughs> clearly. But you know, and you know what? They have never, I tried to get Keith. I said, walk down with me because we've got a couple. This was the next day. We've got a couple that are fishing in the creek. Walk down. We're going to go say hi to them. Well, he said, Elizabeth, they're, they're not ever coming back. <laughs> he said, I, there is no need for me to ever put out a no trespassing sign because all we need is for you to walk around. And go, I'm lonely. 